convert all of this into some of that. Oh no, it's the wrong kind of wood. Oh, it's the wrong kind of wood. <laughs> That's going to be a different colour. That's no good. Oh, what have you done? Darn it. Now roof into a mosaic. Oh, now I'm going to have to dig up another tree. Oh, the, the trials and woes of you. Oh, I heard Enderman noises. They don't like the rain. Oh. There's uh, Zombermans over here. Zombermans? Yeah. It sounds like a band. Your torches are not doing the trick. Look, don't play. <laughs> <laughs> do with my torches? How do you know it's not your torches? I haven't made any torches. As a technicality. <laughs> yeah, they're broken, they must be broken. They they emit light, but they don't scare monsters. Oh no, These are, they, they've grown immune. It was bound to happen eventually. How long has this game been out? They've always been scared of the light. It was bound to be ah. a genetic mutation that made them happy with it, attracted to it. Right. They're like moths now. Yeah. I've torches again. No, I haven't. I've got lots of torches still. Oh. Right. I think that's the right kind of wood this time. Yeah, I can't get the wood, you know. Oh, I'm up a tree. <sighs> sure, I didn't go up, but I ended up on the leaves of a tree. There we go. That's the right colour. <laughs> Oof. I Why? nearly had a mismatched tavern floor there. No, oh, we can't have that. That wouldn't that wouldn't be a very good brand image to have. No. Then when I did do my market research, I'd be like, so uh, when we say the word, uh, insert name of pub here, what immediately springs to mind? And they go, mismatched, mismatched floors. Mismatched floors. That's what they stand for. That's their brand image. <laughs> we can't have that. What do we want our brand image to be? Um, it's got to involve monkeys, I think. Well, I mean, that is a, it's a pub. That goes as a given. I mean, a given. <laughs> that goes as a, <laughs> oh, I didn't think of that quick enough. <laughs> I thought of it as you said it, which yeah. probably is also not quick enough. <laughs> yeah. You should have thought of it ages ago. You should have been ready for that moment. Yeah. That shows how much detailed planning has gone into the making of this uh, video and server. Yeah. No thought of gibbons at all. You would have thunk it. Hey, we got a complete ceiling. It's hey. no, lo no longer wet. Italian style ceiling. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> we got okay. a ceiling! Uh, Taking down this tree. This tree doesn't stand a chance. Look at it. It's not even fighting back. It knows it's doomed. It's a chopping. Doo -doo -doo. I think we're going to be in the money here. This is a thriving place already. Yeah. I can see the tourists flocking in. The flocking tourists. The tourists. The tourists will be sheep. That's mm. what they do. Can't get a flock of cows. Just not possible. Oh, it's very nice in here. There's a. Bit uneven. It's very nice. <laughs> do you reckon I should do the floor at half level or at floor level? I think you should Touch. do whatever the darn well you like. <laughs> I'm going to do it at uh, Have another apple. floor level. Oh, thank you. Well, the demand is uh, dropping. <laughs> <laughs> Make it floor. By definition, it's going to be at floor level. Well, yeah, ground level then. <laughs> <laughs> Just means a lot more digging. Oh, I'm using the wrong implements again. Uh, wrong instruments. I've been digging with a tuber all this time. Yes. Place up the drum kit. That'll be uh, rock and coal music. A tuba. Yep. There's a lot of saplings around. Little baby saps. Are we gonna have a second floor? Yeah, we gotta have a second floor. The bedrooms up there. We're just, you know, getting the basics down first. Though, I guess. Yeah. And I made a beautiful operation by the way. Da -da -da. I was thinking about what you said about flora 
And what? why? <laughs> I don't know. I I just had this problem recently in the kitchen. Oh, we won't talk about that here. Right? <laughs> well, I got to talk about it somewhere. In the kitchen's fine. <laughs> in the kitchen, like just recently. It's to rise. I've been having this problem with uh, butter and margarine that it refuses to stay on the knife. Like well, tra transporting it between the uh, dish, butter dish, and the toast has just become impossible. I mean, when when you say refuses, uh, is that perhaps too grandiose a term? <laughs> no, it, it refuses. It it literally throws itself off the knife as soon as you try and leave the area of I mean, the uh, butter dish. What I've got in my head is like someone who's on a bus late at night and they've. They've clearly had too many drinks and they've just been sleeping on the bus. And the bus no, I'm not going. Their, their bus driver's desperately trying to get them off. And what they're doing is they're refusing. So that's the image that's coming into my head. And I don't know if that really goes very well with the idea of butter. Oh. Or was that nothing to do with a bus? <laughs> so what didn't... happens to it? It just... It, it... It literally just falls off the knife. I'm not sure a sane person can have this problem, but <laughs> convince me otherwise. Well, I have this problem. <laughs> yes, I know. I understand. I just want to know what's going on with the world. I mean, when a man can't Next. butter his toast. <laughs> oh, we're coming to the end as a species, aren't we? But, yeah. I mean, next time you are, you know, about to, to perhaps partake of a buttery product... Um, maybe get like out a camera or something else which you can use to document the situation and then mm. I'll be able to help you because to be honest I can't get my head around it right now <laughs> I can't imagine a situation I can't picture it uh, so I, I'm going to need some pictures to be able to picture it so if you okay. do that me I will do my best that would be very helpful uh, oh um, I've run out of slabs again <laughs> oh no Right, yeah. let's go devastate more woodland. Woodland creatures. I wonder if the badgers will mind all this. Well, I wasn't going to devastate the creatures, just the, the woodland itself. That's so boring. <laughs> They're not alive. They don't have feelings. Well, I suppose I'm probably killing their homes. Oh, that's alright then. So... <laughs> as long as you're doing that, then I'm fine. <laughs> as long as I'm it's mistreating it in some way. <laughs> Life's hard, you know? <laughs> Not sail through it without having your home house knocked down by a, a rampant pub builder every now and again. <laughs> I think I've got a few saplings as well, so we can always replant some trees later on. Uh, yeah, I think I have 54. When I, say, wow. I think I've just seen that I have 54. What's um, the purpose of this large wooden bar? Um, it's, it's a well, it's a bar, isn't it? The whole thing's a bar. Well, yes, <laughs> I suppose there is that. But... Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, you know, I'm I'm thinking ahead to the uh, the second floor. Ah. It'll it'll back invert again. You'll see where the madness is, oh. why the madness is called such, <laughs> and then you'll get rid of it. <laughs> you'll say this is madness, and I'll go. Oh, I told you it was madness. Um. Perhaps we haven't got good enough materials for all of this yet. But we are, you know, surviving on the bits that we can scavenge from nearby. Yeah. Well, once we've built the pub, we can have a nice pub dinner. Yeah, and it won't really matter about anything else. To no. be honest, we might have to stop the pub. Uh, if you build a pub, I don't know that it automatically produces pub dinners. Oh. I mean, uh... to Seems that way as we have only been patrons of patrons. Is that right? Patrons of a pub before? Like yeah. Customers? Is a simple word. Um, it just seems like the food, you know, appears. But I think, um, I think, the way it works is that someone has to make it. Really? I think so. That seems terribly uh, old-fashioned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, these modern days, it seems a bit unnecessary that someone makes it. Oh, hello there. Uh, yep. Can't get the wood, you know. Oh, oh. can't get the wood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
chung chung. Beautiful. I've decorated up the place. Oh, lovely. Nah, That's so nice. Um, just seeing it. Right, what now? I suppose I need... Oh, there's a skeleton outside. They're so, there. we're, we're not open yet. We're still under construction. Oh, I don't know. I think he wants in early. He thinks mm. he'll get it cheap if there's, you know, low demand. <laughs> he knows <laughs> his economics. Oh. All right. I'm also looking for sand. Mm. How do you know where sand is? Sand is usually by the water, is it not? Uh, yes, but it is not by all of the water. And I am by some water, but I am by a part of water that is distinctly void of sand. Which oh. is inhibiting my sand searching. Well, not my searching, my finding. I'm searching, you know, perfectly happily. Oh, some sand. Some squares. Oh. Right, let's get rid of it. Ooh. <sighs> oh man, if if sand were money, I would be moderately well off right now. Well, it's alright for some. If I got a pound for everything of sand I got, I'd be very confused. <laughs> yeah. What's happening? Didn't really think this through. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> what have you done now? Uh, I just can't place the last bit of my stairs because I kind of trapped myself in. That's all right. And I thought you'd done something ridiculous, like had a fizzy drink with your pudding. <laughs> like that. Uh, Some nope. things just aren't done. Go as far as to say it was immoral. Uh, we're looking good on the sand front. I hope you're not worrying about lack of sand because that, that problem is soon to come to an end. Excellent. It was starting to, you know, play on my mind. Yeah, it's sort of. Oh, I mean, it's it's all right around here, but I mean, there isn't any sand. It might might not be an issue, but there there actually isn't any sand. And then that sort of niggle turned into something bigger and bigger over time, so you just can't shake this this sort of feeling of sandlessness. <laughs> uh, I don't know where I'm coming, so you know that whole thing about you getting sand might not be true because I don't know where you are anymore. But I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know the direction. Ooh. Ooh. Just found a cave. <laughs> There's caves everywhere. <sighs> I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. I think. Oh, there's a big slime in my way. A big jelly slime. Die, jelly slime. Get out of my face. What are we going to call our pub? Um, I think it should uh, probably be be named after you. Me? Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking the stinky gibbon. Ah. Uh, I wondered uh, at what point the gibbon was going to return in that. That, that gibbon little... doesn't know when to leave, does it? <laughs> Always overstaying its welcome. So sure that I'd be able to find my way back. <laughs> oh, this is terrible news. All right, no, it's okay. I'm gonna find my. Uh, I wonder if I have enough string to make wool and make a bed because that would make things a whole lot easier. Let's go sheep shearing any second. Oh, I'm up the cliff behind the pub. Oh, oh. Maybe I'm gonna say hello. There you go. I did it. Hello. <laughs> hello. Ew. Hello! <laughs> that one was real, that was. Right. 
I hate to say it, but I think we're going to call it an episode there. Oh. Had some fantastic progress. I mean, who would have thought all this in just like an hour? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Only one okay. horse is on the brunt of our of our series so far. Yes. Okay. Um, right. Well, in next, that case, we can reconvene. Next. Uh. So yeah, it was nice joining you. Yeah, thank you for your assistance in this venture. Oh, Don't bye. <laughs> and we will see you all. Oh, no. we'll, we'll, we'll see you. We'll, we'll see you all next time. Bye, bye. <laughs> How did you get out there? <laughs>